All right, everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is another section of our free training Office 365 that we are providing on this platform. If you're brand new, you need to click on free registration and then click on login. I already did the registration and I clicked on login. Then you'll see a username and password on the left. You'll put your username and password and then you'll see this screen. And all you have to do is to click on course catalog on the left side. If you have already registered your returning, you can just click on my course and you will find this course. If you're new, then you just do this. Office 365. So then you'll find the Office 365 on the right side. You need to subscribe, click on go to course, and then you read this, go to the learning path. Today we're going to discuss a section that will be under, you click on this, will be under on the left side Office 365 dashboard. Now we are going to go to Office 365 here. Basically, you go to portal.office.com, and this is something if you don't know, you need to watch the other videos. So to get to this point, we today we will discuss after setup. We discuss setup. We discuss dashboard. Today we're going to discuss users. This video is going to be just like the same training that we did on Active Directory training, and anyone who's a learner for or can tell how famous those trainings are. There are more than 100,000 views on it, some of them 70,000 and a lot of success stories and most of the people comment because they're going to job interview and this is going to be another big one because a lot of people will ask you do you know how to add a user in Office 365? Do you know how to reset a password? Something like that basic but if you never touch Office 365 then that's going to give you some problem while you are answering those questions. So you you want to be confident you want to make sure you're um, steady when you start talking to them so this training will help you in that sense that it's going to help you even learning the Office 365 stuff but it's going to also help a lot of people um, kind of like making themselves look good in the interview so what's gonna happen is let's say for example we're gonna create a new scenario so that you guys can feel like a real world um, training so what's gonna happen HR department let's say uh, help this career dot dot com is the company and in our HR department um, they sent us an email that there's a new person starting his name is Ali Khan Ali Khan is starting tomorrow so what you need to do is you need to add that person into Office 365 so let's say you're a brand new person this is your first time adding person into Office 365 then this is how you need to do it so you got an email from HR you click on this little plus sign right here I'm gonna go back in there little plus sign right here so you open the email from HR or the ticket you're gonna type Ali and then Khan when you click here it will automatically uh, display it over here so make sure whatever I mean I'm just doing this I mean you guys definitely need to put it right way like you know capital first last and this will you need to change this then there you go so then you can basically whatever it's up to your company how they name um, their users I'm just gonna name it first initials last name and the email address so here you guys can auto generate password meaning it's gonna be pretty nice strong or you might have um, a company password you guys can um, type it right here so let's say for example if I um, type the password here this will show on my next screen but if it's auto generated then it's gonna also show on the next screen so this import this option is pretty important this is just like Active Directory uh, when you guys add a person and you have to check this box so let's say we give them a temporary password they need to change that temporary password once they log in for the first time so here uh, email password the following recipient so you guys can basically send the email to their manager or um, to yourself sometimes it's a manager or supervisor because they get in touch with them they teach them they talk about their own department stuff like that but this part is pretty important right here this up this is up to your company what type of plan that you bought for like the office to what type of plan did you guys have in your company maybe it's a very small size business and you guys don't have too many all services to offer but maybe it's a big company and have everything that under this plan so let's say if I click on this plan this might give the person like an office download um, like some other software sh uh, SharePoint all other licenses are a different way so they're gonna get all these services basically when they log in they'll see those services that's what it does 
uh, this is where you pay uh, Microsoft so you click create so what's gonna happen uh, this automatic password just got generated for this user so like I said um, you guys need to copy that password um, to log into that person's uh, email then so that's how you add a person and it says right Adikon is created into the system so Adikon is is basically ready to go so Adikon is right here uh, in cloud sometimes it we might say is like another status if you have ADFS AD, I'm not gonna go in detail it's like basically if you have Active Directory um, like a company you're using one in Active Directory you might not be even using this part uh, maybe your your rules are to add a person into Active Directory and then it gets synced to your cloud or maybe you don't even use Active Directory you don't even have Active Directory at all you have just cloud then you don't even worry about that but this status could change that's why it's, I kinda bring that up so okay Ali Khan just got added to your system so what else can you do with Ali Khan now since Ali Khan is added on the right side you can, can do a lot of things basically the same scenarios Ali Khan let's say spend three days in the work and he forgot his new password and let's say he call you that I can't remember my password what what are you gonna do so your call you just gotta sign this call this is your call as a helpless so all you gotta do is to come down here and to click on reset and then you can just simply reset Adikon password make this person change just the same way so when you do that this person will basically change the password after this uh, when he log in with a temporary password okay so that's how you do what about that roles what kind of calls can you get with the roles so um, basically Alicon if he's an IT administrator then you can give him roles but other than that there's not much to it so that's where you can change the roles for that uh, you can come back to edit this will give you more options um, so let's say Ali Khan um, maybe it's, I don't know maybe for some reason Ali Khan want to change the last name then you can just come here and change the last name you can play around with the, uh, with the usernames you can do the job title from here this gets synced to maybe like a SharePoint some other site so this is where you do job title uh, department office number mobile and some information stuff uh, roles we just did that from the quick section if unless this guy is, has is IT or maybe you need manager level roles then you can just do it from here when you click on settings this basically um, is the same the user can sign in and access services blocked the user can't sign in in or access so if you do this part then that's kind of somewhat like you know if you're uh, have a employee that just get like you know left the company or something like that happen then you might want to use one of these options license is the same option that we came and you know uh, discussed it that it depends on your uh, company how what type of uh, plan that you're using so sometimes you will see faculty this is for schools but you could see something else like an enterprise level so it depends on type of license you buy but here's you assign it and take off licenses email if you want to change the email uh, you d doesn't have exchange mailbox so, uh, so you will see like an email section in here you can do alias like sometimes people change their last name so then you can change those type of things uh, mailbox permissions then you can if there's if there was a mailbox let's say for example if Ali Khan is sick and somebody wants to log into his email like another person you might want to give that person permission so then you can add the user here and then they can log into their portal with the Ali Khan uh, email address and they can access uh, Ali Khan's emails so that's how you do the email part so let's go back to the user section again so this is what we discussed on the top in the top section you have all these right here in the right section you can do um, all, all of that that we discussed what kind of real world scenarios can you get here you can search users um, here basically it's like a quick weave so if you have someone blocked if you have an unli unlicensed users you can quickly find out from here here you can basically bulk add you can have so many users maybe this is something that when you're creating you would need it and this is basically refresh 
this is another good tool right here is deleted users so if there was a deleted user all you had like you know basically basically tells you the account and data will be become non recoverable in 30 days after they were deleted so you have 30 days you can right click or do uh, like you know put it back into active it accidentally got deleted or you just want to get that person again active so you can do that kind of stuff part relationship basically some of these companies have access to your online services and can perform deletion administration for you so it's basically partners companies I mean if you have like service providing to other companies they can work in this section so that's how you do the users part basically that's um, we're gonna jump into in another section we'll jump into this one so that's uh, a lot of thing for the users so this is what you're going to be using daily and mm, I would say I think one of the most important sections in uh, Office 365 is this and this is where like may, most of the helpless guys will be working or uh, an entry level IT support so thank you for watching job skills share make sure you guys go to my channel and subscribe over there this is where uh, you will get all the new videos thank you bye